What is going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? Welcome back here today to another episode of the 2000 franchise. And today, we are taking control of one of the worst teams in the league. The worst team from last year's season, the New York Knicks, who went 10-72. and So we're going to be entering the 2006 offseason, as this was just the 2005-2006 season. The San Antonio Spurs just swept the Atlanta Hawks in the NBA Finals. We took control of the Clippers in the last video. We got swept in round two. So we have two years to turn this Knicks team around. Let's get on that. So uh, people are retiring. Doug Christie, that's a notable name. Nick Van Exel retiring. Reggie Miller hangs it up. His last year was with the New Jersey Nets and then got traded to the Utah Jazz. Okay. Any other notable names? Nobody too huge. Marcin Gortat retiring at 35. Okay, his age was definitely wrong. But yeah, that's pretty much it for all the major guys. Foster, Borrego, and Malone all retiring. So week meetings, have the trade deadline occur a week sooner. We're going to reject that. And yeah, we're going to actually just reject all these. So the New York Knicks will have the number one odds. And oh, we might have another pick from Toronto. Starting off this rebuild nice. This is like the draft that Andrea Borgani went number one overall. Kyle Lowry's also in this class. So Marcus Aldridge, Brandon Roy. So I'll show you guys kind of the team in a second. But I'll see you guys around like the sixth or seventh pick to seeing um, if we are going to maybe get a top three pick in this draft or we're going to get like four and one or I meant four and five. All right. So our fourth pick actually dropped to seven. That's not very good. So uh, we do get that from the Raptors. So that is nice that we're going to have two top pick, 10 picks. I'm already enjoying this Knicks part already. Don't drop to five. Okay. Don't make me drop to four. I will cry. And we drop to four. <laughs> of course, we have a 25% chance of getting number one and 2K hates me. So we have four and seven going into this draft. That is still pretty solid. Uh, we could look to hire a new head coach. We have Cheyenne Jordan. Okay. As our assistant, I could rock with that. Um, I just like, it's so rare that I see female coaches in this game. Like I see them like once in like a blue moon. So who do we want to hire as our next? I'm not going to hire Carl Malone. I could hire Hakeem Olajuwon to be our assistant coach. I wouldn't mind getting a former player. You know, I love doing that. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to hire Hakeem Olajuwon to be our other assistant coach. And then our head coach, we could hire Monty Williams. We could look at, ooh, I'm not going to hire Carl Malone. Like I said, uh, Ime Odoka, Harry Curry, Chauncey Billups, Kenny Atkinson, Jason Kidd, John Stockton. Um, no, not John Stockton, Steve Nash, but his ratings aren't great. Cassell's ratings aren't great either. So I'm going to see if Tim Duncan would sign with us. He's got C minus offense, C potential, but A minus defense, and they blocked me on that. So I'm just going to offer Lionel Hollins a deal to be our next head coach, and they blocked me on that too. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to promote Cheyenne Jordan to be our head coach. Why not? So we'll go out, we'll sign her to be the new head coach, and then I'm not signing Carl Malone. I'm going to sign. Come on, give me somebody that I know. Give me somebody that I know as my assistant. All right, so we're going to hire Randall. Okay, he's not even interested in being an assistant coach. So Michael Ruffin, just to a one-year deal to be our other assistant coach. I kind of flopped that staff signing period. So mock drafts have us selecting. Let's see. Barnani going one, Rondo two, Roy three. Old I want Roy or Aldridge. Those are one of the two players I would like. And then at seven, I wouldn't mind Millsap or getting Kyle Lowry. Um, one of those guys would be nice. So taking a look at the roster, we have Bob Sura, who's not under contract. We have Jonathan Baylor, not under contract. Milt Palacio, who's under contract for two years. Um, he was an undrafted guy from a little bit ago. Uh, Speedy Claxton also here. Speedy Claxton is 26 years old. Not a bad player. Raymond Fulton, oh my guards. They have way too many guards. Allen Houston, um, we can look to see if anybody wants him on draft night. Steve Nash is here. Dante Jones, Jawan Howard, Mike Dunleavy. Wow. So under contract right now, we have a couple of names. I I'm going to go out and I think I want to move uh, Allen Houston. And we're going to be getting a 2007 first round pick from the San Antonio Spurs for him. They're a contending win now team, so they can take on his contract. Uh, so yeah, let's start this NBA draft. We're going to be adding two rookies to the team. I'll see you guys with who's available at four. All right. So the first three picks were Rondo, Bargnani, and Adam Morrison. So Aldridge and Roy are still up here. Aldridge is ranked seven. So I'm going to take Brandon Roy and hope that Aldridge falls to me at seven. I just want one of these three players at seven and I should get one, right? Yeah, I should get one. A Gay, Lowry, or Aldridge at number seven. And let's see who went after Brandon Roy. Ah, it went Aldridge and Gay. So we're going to take another guard in Kyle Lowry. Maybe I should have taken Aldridge. Uh, because we don't need another guard unless we wanted to trade this pick. Like what? Oh, and we have 20 via the Grizzlies. I didn't even realize that. All right, so Raymond Felton. I mean, I don't need Kyle Lowry unless I move. Like we have so many guards on our roster. All right, so I'm going to try to work out a trade with the Hornets getting Marcus Aldridge. I will offer seven 
20 and my second round pick while also throwing in Palacio in this deal. So it's a major draft night trade for Lamarcus Aldridge. And boom, we ended up drafting both of the future Portland Trailblazers, Aldridge and Brandon Roy. Rondo was number one. You guys kind of saw that. There was the top five. It went game. Millsap, Reddick, Lowry, Sephalosha at 10, JJ Bray at 13, Steve Novak at 15, PJ Tucker at 16, Anthony Randolph at 21. And those are pretty much all the real players from this class that ended up going. So we're going to obviously sign Roy and Aldridge. They're going to be two major parts to this team. Dante Jones, we can bring back. Um, top free agent looks like it's Manu Ginobili, Maurice Taylor. All right. Qualifying offers. Don V. I mean, yeah, we could bring back Don Levy. We can use another wing, but I'm not going to bring back anybody else. So going into free agency, how many guys do we have on our rotation? About five, maybe five, maybe six, if we like Alan Henderson. We need a center, and I'm not going to go out and get Yao Ming. Marcus Camby, who was a Nick at one point. Vin Baker. You know what? I, I want 25 mil, but I think I would sign Vin Baker to a one-year deal just because we have the cap space and we need a center. And we end up signing Vin Baker. Okay, I don't want to renounce the rights on Juwan Howard, or I have to. Okay, or Bob Sura, we will, um, uh, yeah, is he shooting guard? I don't need another guard, so I'd like to keep Jawan Howard open, so, uh, who else do we want to go after? I mean, Ray Allen is here, Ray Allen is 33, though, um, like I said, I don't need another guard, like, I saw, um, Richard Jefferson is here, but I don't want to get in a bidding war, yeah, with Philly or Portland, we could look at Ron Test. I think I'm just gonna sign Ron Test to, like, a one-year deal, uh, him and Vin Baker, we can kind of scoop up a little bit. Um, we would have to renounce the rights on Juwan Howard, so we get that done. Now, I would like to bring back Mike Dunley V um, on a one-year deal as well. We'll see when he comes back from that Achilles injury, and I might need to sign at least one more center before the season starts. So at the moment, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I want to sign one more center, and we are good. I guess that could just end up being Juwan Howard. Let's see, Juwan Howard is not, or that's Josh Howard. Okay, Juwan Howard is 33. We're going to give him a one-year deal, and he should accept that. And there we go. Our offseason is done. This is going to be a bridge year. We might make the playoffs. We might not. Vin Baker regresses. Good things only under a one-year contract, but this team is mainly going to be behind Aldridge and uh, Brandon Roy and Raymond Felton. Let's hope they can make us respectable enough to maybe go out and get major free agents next year. All right, so we do have three trading camps, though. I'm going to make sure that Aldridge and and Brandon Roy or are at an A+. Plus. So Aldridge will be an A+. Plus. Roy will be an A. And then I'm going to also send Raymond Feltz, if he's our franchise point guard, to on top potential as well. So I just downloaded the 2007 draft class, which will be, let's see, we got Kevin Durant, Greg Oden, Al Horford, Conley, Brewer. It's a good class. You got Joakim Noah in there, Marcus Saul. Also, um, maybe at the end of the video, yeah, I'm going to update all the logos to see what they were like in the after- or in the 2007-2008 season. Um, so we'll do that at the end of the video. Or you guys might see that in the next video. So let's figure out this rotation. All right, so here's the nine-man rotation. Felton, Roy, Artest, Aldridge, Baker. With a bench of Claxton, Jones, Howard, and Henderson. While Dun Dunwood V is still hurt. Says of efficiency, she is defense-oriented. Um, yeah, we'll probably go to... Seven seconds or less, something like that. And we will start the season. We're 30th in the power rankings. If we're bad, we're bad. I just hope that Aldridge and Roy are good. All right, so Mike Dunleavy is back. We are currently the 11th seed in the Eastern Conference in a quick start to the season. Alan Henderson has been nothing really, anything crazy. So we're going to get Mike Dunleavy in there to play about 17 minutes, uh, 16 minutes tonight, Howard. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, so we are 2-3 and three to start the year. All right, so it is January 16th, and we are 500 on the season. We are 9-9, nine and nine. and speaking of 9s, we are the ninth seed in the Eastern Conference. Looking at stats, Aldridge and Felton are our two leading scorers, followed by Brandon Roy, Speedy Clax, and Vin Baker, who's averaging almost a double-double a night. Um, and then we got Ron Artest, Dante Jones, Mike Dunleavy, Jawan Howard, and then there is Alan Henderson. A quick look at the award races. MVP got Kobe in Detroit, Agent Zero, Sharif Abdover, he might Bibby Nito Turkoglu. Rookie of the year, you got Roy, number one, okay. Uh, Rondo, Aldridge 3, Rudy Gay, and then Kyle Lowry. Sixth man of the year, you got Guy Ewing, Lamar Odom, Jonathan Baylor, Franklin Ferguson, and Luis Scola. And then defensive player of the year, you got LeBron, who's like breaking out. He kind of already broke out last year. But yeah, he's a stud. T Mac, yeah. So three players we have controlled in the 2000 franchise. Four, if you include Tim Duncan, uh, but KG, we have not controlled yet. And there's most improved. You got Sean Livingston, Kirk Heinrich, who's averaging 24 and a half a night. CJ Miles, Josh Smith, and Monta Ellis.
All right, so it is February 17th, and we are six games over 500. We are 20 and 14. We are the sixth seed here in the Eastern Conference. The Orlando Magic are the number one team. They signed Manu Ginobili, and they re or and they went out and signed Ray Allen. Okay, so those are their wings at the moment. They got Barbosa and former number one overall pick Joe Smith off the bench. Wizards are the two. Hawks at three. We know they got Baron Davis, KG, and Ido Turkoglu. They're pretty good. They got Kendrick Perkins as well. Philly, we have controlled them before. They got Trenton Langdon. Oh my, I didn't even know he was a player. Because obviously he is the uh, GM of the New Orleans Pelicans. That's funny. All right, so yeah, here is the Eastern Conference and what it looks like. The Nets are bad. Oh, wow. Yeah, they got Chris Paul, and they're still really bad, though. And then here is the Western Conference. The Lakers! Oh, yeah, no Kobe. Do they not have Shaq? They have Rondo. Yeah, no Shaq anymore. Okay. Uh, you got the Kings, Sonics. They're at, at the bottom. And then you got the Pelicans. Look at them. The expansion team Pelicans. Jazz, Clippers. Clippers are 21-13. Spurs are 19-15. and 15. Um, they, who did we trade them again? We gave them Allen Houston. So yeah, we're doing well. We are, uh, like I said, we're 20 and 14. Just a quick look at the stats. Aldridge and Roy both averaging 17 a night. Roy has been very efficient. He has a true shooting over 63%. Aldridge hasn't been the craziest efficient, um, which is unfortunate. Is he even taking threes? Cause I'll just make sure he doesn't take any threes. He takes uh, zero nights. night. So I guess it's just his field goal percentage. And there's Raymond Felton averaging 15 and a half, five and five, and being somewhat efficient at that. There's Ron Artest averaging 12. Baker, double, double. Let's get right back into the sim. All right, so we are 24 and 15. We're four and one, or yeah, since I last talked to you guys. And it is the contract extension deadline. We have nobody that's really important. Speedy Claxton is here. He wants nine mil, honestly, to come off the bench. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So we're going to lock him up on a two-year deal um, worth about nine mil. Um, yeah, we'll do that, and he will accept that. That's the only guy that we can really offer a deal to. So it is May 17th, and we are 11 games over 500. We are now the four seed in the Eastern Conference, only behind the Magic, the Wizards. And I guess one of the... Wait. It says we're the four seed, but we're the three seed here, and we're winning our division. Hmm. I don't really know what's going on, why it says we're the four seed. Very confusing stuff. Uh, Pelicans are killing it over there in the West. The Utah Jazz, who's on the Jazz? They got Melo, yeah. They have Dwight Howard, Melo, and Dwight. It's a pretty good combo. And then they got Tayshaun Prince, Brett Berry still. So we can take a look at the award bases. I'm going to kind of show you guys the stats. So Kobe's averaging 44 and a half points a night. <laughs> Unbelievable. You got LeBron number two, Sharif Abdul Rahim, and Kenny Martin three and four, and Melo at five and MVP. Rookie of the year, you got Brandon Roy one. Rondo broke his right wrist, and the Lakers were bad enough. Damn, they might be the next thing we should do. Aldridge there at three, Gay at four, and Lowry at five. Six minute of the year, you got Ewing, Odom, Baylor, Lewis, and Ferguson. Defensive player of the year, you got LeBron. LeBron, T Mac, Duncan, Garnett, and Yao. And then there's most improved with Raymond Felton at number two. You even got Darko in there. Okay. And then just kind of taking a look, um, I think we can actually look at the award or the um the all-star voting. Uh so you can kind of see who's up there right now. We would have no Knicks, but we'll definitely take a look at who ends up making the all-star game. And then looking at the league leaders on the season. Kobe, yeah, absurd. Even though he is hurt, he's averaging 44 and a half points. Here are the top 20 scores. You got Vince Carter in Indiana at eight. Ellison Feldler at 10. Remember, Feldler's this like random guy that's just a beast. Him and Joshua Peters. So that's top 20 in scoring. Here's the top 20 rebounders. Ben Baker's at 20, which is nice. How many is Tim Duncan averaging? Let's see. Tim Duncan is averaging 18.2 rebounds. And there's assists. Feldler, man. Roland Feldler, he was a second round pick in 2020. Or no, that would be technically 2001. And he's had a weird career, but he's breaking out. He's breaking out. Um, they got Deron Williams, Mo Williams, Earl Watson, Brandon Roy is fifth in assists per game. Okay. All right. We're getting a lot of playmaking out of him. We got Bibby at seven, Kid at 10. Um, and yeah, there's your top 20. We are doing well. I'll see you guys at the trade deadline if I want to make a trade or not. Okay, we can choose or find out who makes the All-Star Games today. And you can see the captains are T-Mac and Kobe Bryant. Kobe's got um, one one-time All-Star, and it is Ricky Davis making his first one. LeBron, D. Wade, a couple guys from the 2003 class are starting. And you got Melo off the bench. Bosch does make Team McGrady. Uh, there is one one-time, or two guys that are making their first All-Star Game on Team T-Mac. You got Matty Ginobili and Andrew Bynum. No Knicks are making that. Former players we have controlled. T-Mac on Team Tracy. Tim Duncan on Team Tracy. And then that is it. I met a Ginobili on Team T-Mac. And then over on Team Kobe, we have used Elton Brand before. We've used LeBron. That's two. And we 
we've used Yao Ming, that's three. Just kidding. And AI, that is four. So a lot of former players um, that we've controlled making an all-star game this year. And let's go to the trade deadline where we're, we have our eyes set on making the playoffs. And that is very nice to, you know, recruit free agents at the end of the year. Can I look at upcoming free agents? I thought I could. Um, maybe it's over here. Yes. So upcoming free agents, guys that will be unrestricted. Um, that's the goal. LeBron will be restricted though. Same with D Wade. T Mac, if he opts out, but I don't know if he's going to opt out of that because that's a lot of money. Elton Brand, he would have to opt out too. I would, oh, Kenyon Martin, but he would have to opt out. Yeah, like Jermaine O'Neal. We, we're going to need a new center. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying I could be targeting him. Uh, Chris Weber. All right, there's there might be some good free agents. Do we want to make a trade? I don't think so. We've been very lucky with injuries this year, knock on wood. And I think we've been respectable enough where I don't need to give up future assets like a first round pick or anything to try to win it all because I don't think this that think that this team can. But I think I'm just gonna ride out the youngins, ride out Aldridge, Felton, and Roy, and hope that our success is sustainable in the second half of the season and we can make the playoffs. Because uh, who's the eight seed right now? We got four, five, six, seven, eight. The eight seed. We have what five games on. I think we would need a monumental collapse or a huge injury to fall out of the playoff race. So I'll see you guys in another month, like maybe May 1st. And let's hope that we're still sitting pretty in the Eastern Conference. So we're not making any trades at the 2007 trade deadline. All right, so it is May 1st and we are the five seed, but we're 13 games over 500, so we are doing very well. We are coming in at fifth in the playoff picture. We are the fourth or second team in the Atlantic Division, but just by half a game, Philly's got over us. Toronto's right behind. But yeah, the eight seeded Cavs are three games under 500. We have eight games on them. I think we should be fine making any trades. I'm glad I didn't make any, um, or making the playoffs, and I'm glad I didn't make any trades. Brandon Roy has been our best player this year 19 points, eight assists, five and a half rebounds, 39 from three. 84 from the line. Yeah, he's been incredible. Aldridge, 17 and 7, two assists as well. 45 from the field, 76 from the line. Felton, 15 and a half points, five rebounds, five assists, 47, 35, 75 splits. And then we got our test, Claxton, Baker, Jones, Dunleavy, and Juwan Howard. So I'll see you guys, honestly, like on the last week of the season. And we're going to get some Knicks playoff basketball. All right, so we are the five seed at 48 and 33 with the one game left on the season. So we will be making the playoffs. It's looking like that we will be taking on the Philadelphia 76ers in round one. So that should be a good one as we finish with 49 wins. We go 49 and 33. Kobe in his second year in Detroit averages 43 points, four rebounds, four assists with a true shooting percentage of 67%. Um, I wonder what his PER would be. Probably absurd. He's your MVP. First time, I, I don't know if it's the first time he's won it in this uh, franchise series. Let's see. Yep, his first time he's won it, um, and he wins it in 2007. We got Brandon Roy is your rookie of the year. Hey, let's go. We get rookie of the year in B. Roy. Franklin Ferguson is your sixth man of the year. He was a second round pick in the 2000 draft. LeBron wins defensive player of the year for the first time in his career in San Antonio. Sean Livingston most improved. Roy Pierce of the Hawks still maybe gets coach of the year. Yeah, that makes sense with Hito Tukulu and Kevin Garnett. And uh, that would be um, Travis Schlanker. I don't know the GM at the time of the Hawks, but yeah, he gets executive of the year. So on the first team, we got Kobe. Roland Feldler. This guy's actually merged into a star in, to, to, in Toronto. You got LeBron, KG, and Yao on all NBA first team. All NBA second team, you got D. Wade. You got Gilbert Arenas. Melo, Shoe Fucked Over Human. Andrew Bynum, who was an all-star this year for Chicago. All NBA third team, you got Baby, Paul, Martin, Turkle, and rookie Andre Bargnani. Wow. Wow. He's a stud. He was the second overall pick, and he has been balling out. He makes all NBA third team. Here's all the defensive first team. Wade, AI, LeBron, T-Mac, Yo. Defensive second team, you got Kidd, Eddie Jones, KG, Tim Duncan, and Shaq, who's still in the Lakers, so I guess he was hurt, and that's why I didn't see him before. Gotcha. All game first team, you got Roy, uh, Rondo, Aldridge, Gay, and Lowry. Second team, you got Gibson, Reddick, Cephalosha, Millsap, and Leon Powell. So in the playoffs, you have the one-seeded Pelicans taking on the eight-seeded Phoenix Suns. You got Adam Morrison, David Lee. Morrison was pretty good in his rookie season. Okay, and obviously they have Jason Kidd. You got Portland, who's the four seed. Uh, Kirk Heimrich is like their best player, it seems. They're taking on the five-seeded Houston Rockets, who were just like at the top of the league a couple years ago. They still have a, I mean, God, they need a new point guard. But yeah, they still got Shreve over Raheem, Kenyon Martin. Uh, that's really it. Kenyon Martin might be leaving, man. And we got to swoop in and pick him up. Uh, you got three-seeded Jazz with Jay Will, Prince, Melo, and Dwight going up against the six-seeded Grizzlies, who still have 
Mike Bibby, who's been their franchise guy and has been phenomenal in this franchise series. And then you have two of our last teams we've controlled um, in the Western Conference going up against each other in round one. You got the LA Clippers um, over there. How has Ben Gordon been for them? Uh, ben Gordon... He's been better in his third year. And then going up against the San Antonio Spurs with Duncan and LeBron. Uh, they have Lamar Odom. They no longer have Manny Ginobili. In the East, you got the one-seeded Magic versus the eight-seeded Cavs. I believe the eight-seated Cavs. Oh, and they um, so they got Kyle Lowry. Wait, was this the team that had Ray Allen? thought it was. Maybe not. Um, But yeah, they're taking on the Cavs. So I believe they have Darren Williams. They also have AI, Iggy. Okay, Chris Kamen. Stephon Marbury. That's pretty good. They got a good team there in Cleveland. We're taking on the Sixers who have Andre Miller, Trajan Langdon, Richard Jefferson, Elton Brand, Greg Ostertag, uh, Rashad Lewis, Rashad Wheeler, Lamont Murray, and Jason Maxwell. You got the three-seeded Pacers behind Jay Rich and Vince Carter going up against the six-seeded Toronto Raptors. You don't have, or this is Carter's former team. They got Ben Wallace, Desmond Mason, Roland Feldler, and a former Nick Bob Sura. And then finally, you have the two-seeded Wizards uh, behind Michael Red and Chris Bosh taking on the seven-seeded Pistons who have Kobe Bryant, Gerald Wallace. Maybe Ray Allen was on the Magic. I don't know. I'm tripping now. So here were the end of the season stats. As you can see, Brandon Roy almost had 20 points a night. Aldridge with 17 and 7. There's Felton with 15, 5, and 5. Uh, but yeah, Roy getting 8 assists was just phenomenal. There's our test and Baker average a double-double. Jones, Dunley V, and Howard. So let's see what happens. Game 1 against the Sixers. Can we upset them and win a playoff series? Let's see. It's going to be very competitive this series, I think, as we were down by 5 in the fourth quarter. Ooh, and then they go on a little bit of a run, and we're down by 10. Down by 11, and we end up losing by 15. Roy at 18, 6 and 6. Claxton at 16. Uh, but Elton Brand, the all star, the only all star in the series, at 24, 16, 5, 2 and 2. He's a beast. All right, game two um, against the Knicks. Can we at least win one at the Wells Fargo Center? Uh, definitely wasn't called the Wells Fargo Center in 2007, but you know what I mean. Okay, down by four. We came back a little bit. Let's go. We take a lead here in the fourth quarter. We're up by five. We're up by two. Up by five, and we are going to beat them by three. A great fourth quarter come from behind victory as Brandon Roy at 32, Felton with 24, Aldridge with 18. Our test with the double-double. And Elton Brand went off, but it was not enough. Lewis had a great game, too. So game three, rubber match. We're going to the Garden. Can we win and take a 2-1 series lead? A horrible second quarter. And we are down by 19, and we end up losing by 15. Aldridge with 24-4, shot horribly. Ugh, Brand where's Brandon Roy at? He shot horribly as well. Felton shot 40% from the field, 0% from three. So Richard Jefferson, yep, he burned us. All right, on to game four. We can't lose this and go down 3-1. to one. Come on, we got to at least get a home playoff victory. Uh, good second quarter. What was that third quarter? We're down by 30. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, man. We lose by 33 points. <laughs> not great. Not great at all. All right, backs against the wall, 3-1. to one. Can we maybe come back down from 3-1? to one? We'll have to see. Come on. Come on. Okay, good third quarter. Let's go. Let's just have a good fourth quarter, and we blow it a little bit. We're up by three. Up by two with two minutes left. Let's win the game. So, LaMarcus Aldridge has fouled out, unfortunately, and Vin Baker is very tired. That's not very good. Uh, Greg Ostertag misses the free throw. Uh, we are up by two. Kick it to Raymond Felton, who's got 20 and four. He's going to go right to the rim. Oof, that, I don't know why that animation scared me, but he gets that to go. He's got 22. Mike Dunley has uh, Dunley via A minus perimeter D. All right, Wheeler with the ball up here, guarded by Raymond Felton. If we get the steal, yes. Get it, Raymond. No. Okay, well, six on the shot clock. Oh, no. Can he dribble? Uh, I guess not. Or no, he definitely can't dribble. Okay, four, three, two, one. He's going to have to pull up, get the rebound. Please, let's go, Vin Baker. Good job. All right, Speedy Claxton coming off a couple screens. He's going to get a great look from downtown. Bang! Perfect release for Speedy Claxton. We're up by seven now. Greg Oster trying to driving. That is no good, but uh, Fuller gets the rebound. I'm not sure who that is. And he puts that up. It's a five-point game. Raymond Felton going right to the rim, and he's going to the line. Very nice, so I can get Brandon Roy in. Felton's first free throw is up and good. He's 7 for 7 on the night. He's got 23. Can he go for 24? Yes, so no way he can't. Jawan Howard currently in. Brandon Roy is 28, 4, and 7. Oh, no, Rashard Lewis for 3. That's a perfect release that he hits that, and we're just up by 3. All right, rookie Brandon Roy. Give me a screen, Jawan Howard. And I'm going to try to just take uh, Richard Jefferson to the rim. Actually, Howard, roll. Beautiful pick and roll by Brandon Roy and Juwan Howard, the rookie in the vet. 
All right, Brandon Roy with the spin move. He's going to the rim, and he gets blocked, but he gets his own rebound, and he's going to go up, and why did he do the reverse layup? Oh, no. A three will tie it. That is not good. Richard Jefferson with the ball. No. Richard Lewis gets a great look. Siri shot off. Oh, my God. They tie it. I just blew a seven-point lead. All right, let's win this game, though. We're tied up. I'm not too nervous because we're going to win the game here. I'm literally just going to go to the pick and roll with Brandon Roy. Ah, this is too early. I don't want it yet. I don't want it yet. So let me just use it. I'm going to call it with the... Oh, my God. Juwan Howard got open. Okay, Juwan, get back here. Seven, six, five. I don't want to go to overtime. I don't want to go to overtime. Roy to the rim. Roy to the rim. What a dunk he has. They're going to call a timeout. We're up by two. All right, so they missed the final shot. I just wasn't recording. I apologize. That's, that's on me. But, hey, we ended up winning. I'll take it. So it is three to two, Philly. Can we... Come back down three to one. What a start. What a start to game six. Don't blow this. Don't blow this. And oh my God, we come back down three to one to force the Sixers to a game seven. Would you look at that? Okay, there we go. Brandon 27. Okay, so the Magic beat the Cavs in five. Pacers beat the Raptors in five. Kobe and the Pistons upset the two-seeded Wizards in five. The Spurs upset the two-seeded Clippers in five. And the Blazers, led by Kirk Heinrich, beats the Wizards in five. A lot of series ending in five. We're going to a game seven, though. Can we beat the Sixers and move on to round two? Back and forth here. Back and forth. What a third quarter. What a third quarter. And we are going to be coming back down three to one to be going to the Eastern Conference semifinals. Roy with 27 and eight. Aldridge with 19 and six. Vin Baker, 17 and 12. Brandon, 22 and 17. I can't believe the Sixers blew a 3-1 lead. So the Pelicans beat the Suns in six, and the Grizzlies upset the Jazz in seven. So you got a 6v7 right there. All right, so we're taking on the Orlando Magic. They got Kyle Lowry, who's been having an okay year, not the greatest efficiency. Manu Ginobili, Sean Marion, Pat Garrity, Joe Smith, Leandro Barbosa, William Avery, Vitaly Potapenko, Luther Head, Eric Sims. Okay, we should be able to put up a good fight. I, I don't think they're a great one seed, honestly. After that, yep, we're blowing them out. We're blowing them out. Okay, they come back a little bit. They do. Uh, we end up winning by 10, but hey, I'll take it. Brandon Roy with 27, 6, and 8. Two blocks as well. Aldridge with 21 and 4. Claxton 17, 5, and 5. Also four steals. That's what I'm talking about. So Manu Ginobili, oh, he averaged 30 in that or in his first uh, six games in the playoffs. It doesn't matter, though, because we're up 1-0. Can we take a 2-0 lead? Come on. Come on back. Come on. Come on. Okay, we're down by 14. It's not happening. We end up losing by 7. Another close game now. Uh, Brandon Roy had 12 assists. Felton did not shoot the ball well whatsoever. All right, game three now. Can we take a 2-1 lead on the Magic? It's looking like we can. We blow them out. We win by 27 points. Brandon Roy with 25 and 5. Felton with 18 and 7. Baker 17, 13, and 4. Let's go. You know, we had 31, but it was not enough. We are up two games to one. And can we maybe take a 3 1 lead? Not a good first quarter, but a good second quarter. Good third quarter. All right, it is close. Don't blow this. Don't blow this. Let's go. Let's go. We went by three. And we're up three games to one. Wow. Like, I, I'm very shocked that this team might upset the one seed, but we've seen so many one seeds lose in the first two rounds in this series. So. Game five, let's not be on the other end of a blown 3-1 lead as we have a great second and third quarter and fourth quarters and we're in the conference finals. <laughs> we just beat the Magic in five. Brandon Roy is a superstar already. And who are we taking on in the conference finals? It is going to be the Indiana Pacers. The four-seeded Blazers upset the Pelicans in six and the Grizzlies beat the Spurs in seven. So we're taking on uh, Earl Watson, who's a really good passer, Jason Richardson, Phenomenal score. Vince Carter, phenomenal score. Kenny Thomas, pretty good rebounder. Yeah, like this team of Mecca Okafor they have as well. Yeah, I'm surprised like this wasn't a one seed. They got Kyle Korver. Oh my God, he's had a pretty good career over the last four years so far. Matt Barnes, Scott Pollard, Brevin Knight, and Tony Parker is there. We had Tony Parker in Philly. He's not had the greatest career, not playing with like Pop and Ginobili and Duncan. So game one of the conference finals. Uh, I don't have a lot of confidence in winning this series, but I, uh, I'll take what I can get as we lose by 23. I mean, we were down by two going into halftime, down by what, four going into the fourth quarter. But then that fourth quarter was abysmal as we ended up losing uh, by 23 points. Rory 20 and 10, Baker 17 and 10, Jay Rich at 40 and 10, Carter at 34, Watson 22 and 19. That's a very good team as the Grizzlies beat the Blazers in game one in the Western Conference Finals. Another nice start, but a horrible second quarter and we end up getting blown out, or not blown out, we end up losing by 13. But what is that second quarter? Brandon Roy had 16 assists, Baker at 17 and 9, Ortez 18 and 8. Kyle Korver drops 42 on us. So what can we do? Jay Rich with 30, Carter with 20, Watson with 16 assists. 
All right, this Pacers team might be OP, and I don't think I have a high chance of beating them. All right, so don't go down 3-0. Don't go down 3-0. Let's go! We win the close ones. We're alive. Brandon Roy with 29-7, 5, 6, and 3. What a game. Shoots 80% from 3. Claxton with 20 and 5, and Vince Carter 25 and 6. All right, let's tie it up. Let's win both at the Garden. Come on. Come on. Have a good second half, and it's over. We lose by 18, and we're down 3-1 to one for the second time in these playoffs. Kyle Korver did get hurt, though, it looks like, so that's something we can keep an eye on. Game 5, though, can we pull off the 3-1 to one comeback once again? Uh, we're currently winning. That's a good sign. All right, we're up by 1 with 60 seconds left. I'm going to close my eyes. Please tell me we won. Please. Oh, what? It says we won. They had a buzzer beater on us. Oh, that hurts so much. Who hit it? A Josh Richardson dunk as the time expired. Damn, that hurts a lot. That really does. Red of right 18, Aldridge 16, 11. It was a good defensive game, but we couldn't stop Jay Richard, Vince Carter. The Grizzlies win it all, have the um, or win the Western Conference. I don't know if the Grizzlies have ended up winning a championship or even going to one. Yes, they went to the 2003 NBA Finals, but they lost to the Toronto Raptors in five. So basically, every time you see a year, just subtract a year. So this is the 2028 NBA Finals in the game, but it's really the 2007 Finals. So uh, yeah, the Grizzlies, will they finally get a ring? We'll see. And this is the first time the Pacers have gone, I believe. Um, unless I completely missed that. And the Pacers end up winning in six. So we lost to the team that won it all. Jason Richardson is your finals MVP. So we got to build a team good enough to beat that Pacers team. I don't know how they were in a top seed. Or that, I mean, they were the three seed. I don't know how they weren't one or two. Uh, Sean Kemp retires. Alonzo Mourning. Those could be two potential Hall of Famers. Uh, Jim Jackson, Tom Gugliota. Bobby Phillips, Penny Hardaway retiring. Okay. Uh, PJ Brown, Howard Isley, Aaron McKee, Juwan Howard. Hangs it up. Eric Snow, Fred Hoidberg retires. And Alonzo Mourning is going to the Hall of Fame. So it is draft lottery time. We are going to have a pick in the 20s unless there was something I didn't know about. So we will be selecting, where are we? 23. The Heat win the lottery. Warriors at 2. Bulls at 3. Hornets 4. Lakers 5. Nets at 6. All right. And we also have 19 via the Spurs. From the Allen Houston trade. All right, that is something nice to have. We're going to look for a new assistant coach. Vin Baker also retired. So we're going to give him a role as our assistant coach. Why not? But yeah, Cheyenne Jordan, first female coach to win a playoff game. Uh, let's go here to the NBA draft. We could look to trade up. Uh, obviously, there's a consensus number one with Kevin Durant, and he's going to be on the Miami Heat unless they listen to NBA.com, and that would be very silly, Miami. All right, I want to see if the Raptors would do this trade. I don't know. So I'd be giving them 19 23 and 54 to move up to 10 and they don't want to do that i don't know what i'll throw in a future second i'll throw in two future seconds if that works let's go if not what's whatever okay so we're going to try to trade for like pick 11 or 12 with that um package so who's got 11 i might have passed 11 but i'll just do 12 with the hawks they should agree to that and really because i'm not trading any players because i like aldridge and roy obviously and we have speedy claxton who's a big part of our bench. All right, so let's look at 13. And that is the Dallas Mavericks. Please accept this. Okay, so we have the 13th overall pick in the 2007 NBA draft. And look who's on the board for me at pick 12 or 13. It is Marcus Soul. So the draft summary, oh my God, Miami. They make one of the biggest mistakes ever. They pull Portland Trailblazers from 2007. They pass on KD for a big. So it goes Yee Yee on KD, Horford, Conley, Odin at five, Brewer at six, D-Man at seven, Dudley at eight, uh, Lionel Russell at 9, Noah at 10, um, and then two guys that I don't, or Daquan Cook at a, uh, 12, I don't know who this guy is. So there's a couple good players on the board. You got like that young, Jeff Green, um, obviously Marcus Saul, Wilson Chandler, Tiago Splitter, but this is an easy decision for me. I'm going Marcus Saul, and we are obviously going to be signing Marcus Saul. I don't think he'll start. He might be a backup. We're picking up the team option on Raymond Felton. T-Mac declines his deal. Wow. Uh, we'll give Dante Jones the qualifying offer. How much money do we have? We have enough for two max deals. Okay. I think I have to offer T-Mac a deal. We'll give him 48 mil. Oh my God. 49 mil a year. Player option, no trade clause. Um, Elton Brand, we could also go after, but I would like a center. I think Jermaine O'Neal, like we need to offer him a deal. So we'll give him a four-year deal. Um, try to land him in New York. And then if we strike out on those guys, we could go for Tayshaun Prince. I might offer Elton Brand a deal. Kenyon Martin, no, no. That's who I'm offering a deal to. So we're going to offer those three guys contracts. And let's hope we get at least one of them. And we get Jermaine O'Neal. Okay. Mm, uh, it's the worst out of the three, but I guess I'll take him. We are going to read out some on everybody but Dunleavy. Uh, no, Dunleavy too. Uh, not Dante Jones. So we are going to sign Jermaine O'Neal, which is nice. So we're going to have an Aldridge Jermaine O'Neal front court. T Mac goes to the Spurs. Kenny Martin goes to the Grizzlies. Okay, are they going to bring back LeBron? 
So they got, no, okay, I'm going to wait a little bit, like, before I offer somebody else a deal, because I think some people make it after Moratorium. So we get Jermaine O'Neal, and who's making it after Moratorium? T-Mac again, okay, so let's offer T-Mac a deal. We can afford him, come on, let's land him. Let's land Tracy McGrady, please. No, okay, he's mulling, he's mulling. Are we going to get this? Are we going to get him? We're bidding with the Blazers, so let's offer as much as we can. Player option, no trade clause, it's the best I could do. And he accepts, wait, I don't know, does he... Okay, no, he's going to accept our deal. Let's go. So we signed Tracy McGrady. Yes, sir. Let's go. Um, anybody else we could sign just to add to the bench? We could bring back Ron Artest. Yes. Give me that for the bench. 100%. All right. That's kind of huge. So we signed Ron Artest. How many guys do we have right now? Because we're trying to win it all next year. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I would like to sign one more guy. And that is going to be Shane Battier. So... T-Max on another team. We had him in Toronto. He spent time in Dallas for three seasons. And now he's on the New York Knicks when he's in the mixed or in the middle of his prime, I should say. I don't know why I said mixed. But yeah, we have T-Mac. We have a defensive beast in Jermaine O'Neal. He's going to learn from Vin Baker, who's our assistant coach. We got Aldridge, Roy, Artest, Felton, Claxton, Battery, and Gasol. I mean, we do need to sign... Oh, some more bench pieces like Monty Williams in case somebody gets hurt. Calvin Booth as well. Just, yeah, like his players will get hurt. So we got to make sure we have some guys in place. Ty Lube can also bring in as well. All right, taking a look at player progression of the 2000 or going into the 2007-2008 season. T-Mac goes down, but everybody goes up besides Speedy Claxton and Williams and Booth. All right, seeing T-Mac go down one overall. Got to hurt a little bit. The next draft class is going to be a good one. It's the 2008 one, which included um, off the top of my head, what? I don't know, it was D-Rose, Westbrook, K-Love, 2007, 8, and 9 are very good. Um, and then obviously 2009, you got Harden, Curry, and uh, Blake and those guys. So uh, we do have three on potentials. I do want to see... Okay, so I would like to send Aldridge there, A+, plus, very nice. I would like to send Brandon Roy there, A+, plus, very nice. And I would like to also send Raymond Felton there. Hey, I'll take it. All right, guys, so here is the starting five. Raymond Felton, Brandon Roy, T-Mac, Aldridge, and Jermaine O'Neal with a bench of Ron Artest, Speedy Claxton, Marcus Saul, and Shane Battier. System proficiency under Cheyenne Jordan is going to be three and a half stars, seven seconds. We will go to balance, though, which is four stars. So we are currently the seventh or sixth team in the power rankings. Let's start the season off and let's see how good this next, next team could do in the sim. All right, so it is January 2nd, and we are 10 and 2. I have a feeling that we might be very good this year. Sixers start off 9 and 2. Pelicans start off 11 and 2. But starting off 10 and 2 feels so good. T Mac averaging 24 and a half, 6, 9, and almost 5 assists. 52, 40, 69 splits. Get that free throw percentage up, T Mac. Roy with 22 points. Felton with 16 and 5. There's a Marcus Aldridge. Claxton and Artest also scoring 10 plus. And then you got Gasol. Jermaine O'Neal and Shane Battier. Jermaine O'Neal, not even the greatest season so far. Taking a look at the award races, you got Gilbert Arenas, Kobe, Dwayne Wade, LeBron, and Melo. Shout out to the 2003 class, rookie of the year. Yep, Kevin Durant, he's going to be amazing for the Golden State Warriors. You got Gary Gooden, Yee Yalen, Mike Conley, and Fred Car uh, Cameron. Uh, six men of the year, you got Tyron Lewis, Bobby Andrews, Nicholas Jameson, Big Z, and Andre Iguodala. Defensive boy of the year, you got LeBron, Yao, Kenyon Martin, who signed with Vancouver to join Mike Bibby. That's very nice. Definitely Desmond Mason and KG. And then most improved, you got Kyle Lowry, Donnie Jones. Oh, after leaving us. Okay. Rondo, Ursano Silva, and David West. So I'll see you guys in about the middle of February. All right, so it is February 15th, and we are 27-6. and six. We are the one seed in the Eastern Conference. We have a four-and-a-half game lead over the Sixers, who's at the bottom. It's the Miami Heat. I mean, you passed on Kevin Durant. You know that for Yee and He was having a terrible season, but come on. Wait, what? I thought he retired. That's why he's our assistant coach. 2K, what are we doing here? So Vin Baker's playing for the Heat, and then he also coaches for the Knicks. Or he's doing double duty. And then the Lakers are 5-30. Oh my god, they have Shaq, come okay, Shaq's 35 years old, so he's regressing. They have Greg Oden as their starting center. Wow, the Lakers are bad. They might be the next team we have to do. Uh, looking at the season stats, you can see that T-Max are leading score. Brandon Roy in the 20 per games. I, I like that a lot. There's Aldridge, Felton with 14 and a half, 4 and 5 and a half. Artest, Claxton, O'Neal, Gasol, and Shane Battier. Uh, O'Neal doing a little bit better, most definitely. Um, and then just taking a quick look at the award races once again. Uh... Nate Robinson, what? Nate Robinson has inserted himself into the MVP race. Okay, 5'9 Nate. K 
killing it. I, I like to see it. Mike Conley's second now in Rookie of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year for or Iggy coming off the bench is second. Jamal Crawford there at fourth. Just kidding. This is the sixth man of the year. Why did I think that? That was Defensive Player of the Year. I don't know. Uh, there's Defensive Player of the Year. Zaza at three. That injury is going to hurt, though. And then there's Desmond Mason. Um, they're at five. Most improved, you got Lowry, Morrison, Oisola, Rondo, and Jones. So a bunch of guys from the 2007 or 6 draft class. So, yeah, we're killing it so far. We're 27 and 6. See you guys in another month. All right, it's the contract extension deadline. And although this is going to be the last year, I would still like to see, like, what I would do for this next team. So I'll give Speedy Claxton a two-year deal to come back. And that's pretty much all I could do. So it is March 16th, and we are... 39 and 8. We are the one seed here in the Eastern Conference with a five game lead over the two seeded Philadelphia 76ers. The Pistons are 31 and 18. Obviously, this is led by Kobe Bryant. Uh, Dwayne Wade and the Bucks are the three seed. Oh, and they have Dirk. Yes. Dirk has not been like elite Dirk um, in his like career for the 2000 franchise. He's been hovering around 15 points a night. This has been his best season though this year. Okay, okay. Um, and that's the Eastern Conference. And then here is the Western Conference. If we take a look at the stats, you can see that T-Mac is our leading scorer. He has been averaging almost 25 and 10 for assists. Brandon Roy has been phenomenal. We are killing it. We will now kind of keep simulating to at least the All-Star Draft, where we know we're getting at least one All-Star this year. All right, so it's the All-Star Selection Time. It's Team LeBron and Team Kobe, so we still get that because we know that would have been at least one season if they did the All-Star Draft when they were playing. And we have five first-time All-Stars. Over on Team Kobe, we do have Tracy McGrady on that team, but KD, first-time All-Star. Tyson Chandler, first-time All-Star. Darren Williams, first-time All-Star. And then over on Team LeBron, Chris Paul, first time he's made All-Star team, and J.R. Smith. All right, so it is April 20th. We have gone past the trade deadline. I just didn't think I was going to make any trades. We are so good as it is. I was like, there's no need to. We have a five and a half game lead over the Sixers for the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. We are the only team in the NBA that has clinched a playoff spot. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I was like, you know what? I don't need to fix anything because it ain't broke. So we are just going to kind of keep rolling into the um, end of the season. I'll see you guys on June 1st or June 2nd, and we'll figure out where we're going, uh, what seed we're going to be going to the playoffs. Hopefully it is the one seed. And we are going to win 70 games. We're 70 and 11 at the moment. That is a guaranteed one seed. We have a 21 and a half game lead over the Magic. Oh my God. What is our last 10 games? We are on a 12 game winning streak. Well, that's some way to go into the playoffs. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? That's what I'm talking about. And we are just unbeatable as we beat the Jazz to end the season on a 13 game winning streak. LeBron wins his first ever MVP award. Yes, here in the 2008 season, he averaged 25, five and a half, and seven. Rookie of the year is Kevin Durant of the Warriors, Miami. I'm sorry, he fans. I don't know why you guys passed up on him for Yee Yeelin. Franklin Ferguson with six men of the year. Again, he won it for the Grizzlies, I believe, or on the or not, uh, Grizzlies, the Timberwolves last year. LeBron wins MVP and Deep Boy in the same year. Kyle Lowry wins most improved. And then coach of the year is Cheyenne Jordan, the first female to win any coach award. Um, well, she is the first female coach, but that is pretty cool. And executive of the year is Russ McGee, aka Mike Brunholzer, aka at this time for the Knicks, probably Isaiah Thomas. So I'll be first team, you got Agent Zero, Kobe, LeBron, Mello, and Bynum. Second team, you got Wade and Robinson, who are both hurt. Nate Robinson, yeah, he's a star. Shreve Abdurrahim, Duncan, and Tyson Chandler on OMB. Second team, third team, you got Paul, Manu, Hito, Tracy McGrady, and T-Max, or T Tracy and Yao. Uh, we get Tracy there, which is cool. Here's all defensive first team with AI, Paul, LeBron, Duncan, and Yao. Defensive second team, you got Rondo, Stephen Hunter, T-Mac, Bosch, and Hughes. There's our rookie first team with Durant, Conley, Gooden, Noah, and Horford. And Marcus Gasol makes our rookie second team with Dudley, Odin, Green, and number one overall pick, Yi Yalen. I wonder who's better. Katie or Yee Yalen. So in the playoffs, you have a Battle of Texas. There in the top left, you got Spurs versus Houston. Uh, you got Pelicans versus the Suns. Jazz versus a Mavericks. Who's on the Mavericks now? Ruben Patterson, Doyle. Okay, like how is this team any good? I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, Kings versus Clippers there. We are taking on the Milwaukee Bucks in round one. Earl Boykins. Oh, is Dwayne Wade hurt? Oh, boy. Dwayne Wade is hurt, I guess. 
That's not going to be good for the Bucks. You got Sixers versus reigning NBA champion Indiana Pacers, Detroit versus Washington, and Orlando versus Boston. So let's see if we can beat Milwaukee in round one. I'm sure we'll be fine. We do win game one. We are currently on a 14-game winning streak dating back to the regular season. We beat them by 41 points. It's a nice start to the playoffs. It, it definitely is. Aldridge has a great game. Same with Roy and T-Mac. Shane Battier with 11 points off the bench. He shot 50% from three. We'll keep an eye on when Dwayne Wade comes back as we take a 2-0 lead on the Milwaukee Bucks as T-Mac at 20-12. and 12. We have a great defensive game here in uh, game number two as Earl Boykins, 6 for 17. On to game three. We take a 3-0 lead. Oh my God, we beat him by 43 points. Dwayne Wade is back, but he does not play well. T-Mac drops 31-10-5. Bory with 19, 8, and 9 with two steals. Jimmy O'Neal at 18 rebounds. Felt to 9 assists. And are we going to sweep them? Yes, we will. We're on what? A 17-game winning streak right now. We win by four. That was the closest game. We did 30 and 11. Roy with 22 and 11. T-Mac 18, 12, and 9. O'Neal with 16 and 17. And we're taking on the... Philadelphia 76ers. So we could have had a rematch against the Pacers. It would have been nice to get revenge, but they ended up beating the Pacers in six. Kobe and the Pistons beat uh, Bosch and the Wizards and Michael Rand and the Wizards in six. The Boston Celtics beat the Magic in seven. Who's on the Celtics? So still Paul Pierce. He's 30 years old. He's an 84 overall. Tyson Chandler, all made second team. Tyson Chandler on that squad. Over here, you have Dallas upsetting the Jazz. Wow, Melo and Dwight have done nothing in the playoffs so far. Nothing yet. Feels like they always lose in round one. Um, and then the Clippers upset the Kings. All right, who's even on the Kings? Richard, uh, Richard Hughes, Malik Rose, Jeff Green, Evan Ishmael, P.G. Tucker, Rasheed Wallace. Who's like the star on this team? I guess it is Elton Brand. They have Paige Stoyakovich as well, and Richard Hughes is pretty solid. Okay, they beat the, uh, or they lost to the Clippers in five. Pelicans swept the Suns, and the Spurs beat the Rockets in seven. So we're taking on the Sixers. You have um, Chris Crawford. He's an 84 overall. Okay. Anderson Verja is there. Sasha Pl Pavlovich. I don't know. Jason Maxwell. Nicholas Ware. So game one, we pick up a win on that winning streak. Okay. We win by 20. T-Mac with 32. Richard Jefferson with 23. Game number two, we pick up the victory. T-Mac with 26, 7, and, or 9, and 7. Aldridge with 25, and 7. Roy, 15, and 11. We beat them by 7. Game number three, oh my God. We're 7-0 and in the playoffs. We have built a juggernaut with this team. It's just so well balanced. Roy drops 30 points. T-Mac with a double-double. And are we going to sweep the Sixers? Yes, we can. We are 8-0 and to start the playoffs. As T Mac is 35, Roy 24 and 12, Aldridge 22 and 8, Jermaine 20 and 12. And then we are going to be um, taking on the Kobe Bryant and the Detroit Pistons. And you have a battle of Texas here Dallas versus San Antonio on the conference finals. Detroit has Shaman Williams, Kobe Bryant, Devin George, Al Harrington, who's pretty good. And they have Michael Dolech. Uh, they got. Or Dola, they got Gerald Wallace, Sasa Vujovic, and that's it from pretty much that's notable. So, is Kobe going to hand us the first L? No, we beat them by 17. Aldridge with 23, Felton with 21, T-Mac 18, 12, 5, 2, and 2. And Kobe had 29. He's averaging 40 for the playoffs. So, if he's scoring ball at 35, we're doing our job. Game 2, we are 10 and 0. Oh, my God, we won by 3. Okay, Kobe with 34 was not enough. And we are 11 and 0 in the playoffs. Kobe with 34 again. As T Mac 25 and 12, Aldridge 23 and 8, Roy 21, 7 and 9. And okay, there is our first L in a while. We were on what? A 13, a 24 game winning streak until that. Wow. And then we ended up losing, let's see, by 14. Kobe dropped 47 against us. And the Dallas Mavericks sweep the Spurs. What? Who's like their like really good score? Finley at 35? Uh, well, they do have Doyle Williamson. He looks pretty solid. Okay, Lamar Odom puts up some points. Yeah, he's been good. All right, just can we win in five, please? Don't let him force a game six. Boom, there we go. Uh, we end up beating them by 23 points. Roy drops 23. Kobe 29, not enough. And here we go. NBA Finals, Knicks versus the Mavericks. Let's see who's going to come out on top. Are the Knicks going to get their first ring? We definitely have to be the favorite. We beat them by 10. A nice... Uh, we were down by five going in the fourth quarter. So a nice comeback there. T-Mac with 25. Roy with 17. Jameer Nelson had 19, 5, and 5. He was shifted in 2004. Okay. Uh, game number two. We're up 2-0. Oh, man. We owe them the 64 points. Oh, look at, like, all their shooting. Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. Game three. We're up 3-0. And it wasn't even going to be close. It wasn't. We're going to win it all in four. Yes, we do. We go 16-1 and in the playoffs. 
Finals MVP is Brandon Roy over T Mac. Wow. So there we go. The Knicks won the 2008 NBA Finals. They joined the Pacers, Spurs, Bucks, Raptors, Rockets, Kings, and Pistons to win the NBA Finals. And Brandon Roy joins this company or. Yeah, all these guys to win finals of MVP. Team I could have taken home a second, but he did not. But yeah, that is going to be for me. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the next episode of the 2000 franchise. We went through the years 2006 to 2008. So the next episode will be going through the 2008 draft class with Russ and Love. I think I might decide to use the LA Lakers because Shaq's old and they're bad. They went 20 and 62. Yeah, I think I might use the Lakers next. They'd be fun to build around. And yeah, drop a like if you guys enjoyed the 2000 franchise. Next episode, all the uh, logos will also be updated. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.